Yeah, that's way. Yeah, way right. So here. the Ashaw yeah. was right out here, yeah. southwest. See that, of the Ashaw Valley is over here. I didn't do that. Oh, okay. Just was, you know, just so different than the United States. You know, triple canopy jungle. The heat was overwhelming. It was at least 100 degrees or more and over 100% humidity. We were going up this mountain trail. I remember it was right after the monsoons had just quit and it was real slippery. I happened to look down in this ravine or this draw and there was a sapling moving and I thought, well, there's no wind so there must be somebody down there. And so when he stepped out, I took 10 rounds. I put 10 in him. Then the second guy stepped out, I put 10 in him, and I was reaching to get another magazine when the guy started shooting at me. And like, you know, you see these movies where you can see clouds of dirt jumping up. I could see them, and I mean, they was coming right at me, and that's when I got off that rucksack. I thought, this guy, he means kill me, he's sure the world. And so when I dove off the rucksack, he just continued firing, and the guy was standing right behind me. He got him. And, uh, I mean, luckily, he got him in the leg. I was waiting for a basket to be so I could lay down. They wouldn't let me set up because we thought my back, you know, was was well, it was damaged. All the stuff that was going on, my steel pot fell off when I was helping carry that guy up the trail towards the top of the hill. That's why I don't, I'm the only one without my steel pot on. I just happened. You know how you know when somebody's looking at you? Well, I happened to get that feeling, and I just looked back right at that time. The medevac trapper could not land because it was triple canopy jungle. So they dropped a basket instead. And that's what our platoon sergeant was, had his arms up guiding the basket down. I'm very proud of the picture, not for the fact that I'm in it, but I'm proud of the fact that, well, I was in it, but I'm also proud of the fact that the men and the women that served in this great unit that gave their lives, you know, for this country and whether it be in Vietnam, whether it be in Afghanistan, Somalia, it doesn't make any difference. If you wear that patch, you're, 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 you are truly a band of brothers.